Good evening, YouTube, Booktube. This is Johnny. <clears throat> Thought I'd make a video since it's a Monday night here in Southwest Michigan. It is 10:28 at night inside the Hermit Hut. It is December the 7th, <clears throat> 2019. Uh, yeah, and it's been a couple days since I made a video. I'm still slightly sick, but I'm feeling a lot better. Thank you for all your prayers. Uh, yeah, it's one thing you, you've got to do. You know, sometimes, you know, I, I'm always writing in my diary <clears throat> when I get sick, I, you know, praying for healing. Well, I, you know, I take that seriously. Now, I'm not saying we're not to take medicine or go to the doctor or... But we are to pray for healing, not only physical healing, but spiritual healing, emotional healing, psychological healing. Uh, we need healing, and uh, the Lord is Almighty. He, he is called the Great Physician. Uh, you read the Gospels in the New Testament. He took compassion upon those who had, who were, had afflictions, lepers, and blindness, and lameness and so yeah the lord is concerned with our our bodies not just our our spirits you know it's one thing else sometimes i get the impression in you know watching youtube that that people just see human beings that just be totally body that they don't consider that man is soul and body uh, like, for example, you know, I was thinking about this because, you know, our bodies do, you know, we all know our bodies die, but our souls live forever. Uh, for example, you think about, I was thinking about this, you know, giving a, uh, an example of this is when you look at the death of Christ, uh, when you read the Gospels and you come to his crucifixion, he gave up his spirit to to the Lord, I mean, to the to Heavenly Father. He committed his spirit to his Father, and then he his body was buried for three days, and then his soul was reunited with his body, and he was resurrected. Now we don't know, you know. I'm sure that when the when the Lord in the tomb was resurrected. I mean, I'm sure there were angels there. We know that the gospel counts when the, the, mayor, the women came to the tomb and saw the stone rolled away from the tomb and they looked and, and then they told the disciples and Peter came and saw that the grave, the, the grave clothes were folded there inside the tomb and, and then the Lord appeared to them in his resurrected form. So the point is, is that one day our souls will all be reunited to our bodies. So we do live forever. Once our bodies die, that's not, we don't cease to exist. Our true selves are our soul. Within our soul is our memory, our intellect, who we really are. And the body reflects that, the, the presence of the soul or the spirit. So anyway, I just want to share that. So it's a Monday, and I was going to talk about Monday Reads. Well, as you all know, this has been Saturday and Sunday where the professional football playoffs. So I watch football all day, Saturday and Sunday. But I did get a book in the mail. Sunday was delivered in the, in the mornings. I ordered this. It's a little novella by... Clarice Lespector, The Hour of the Star. This is translated out of Portuguese by Giovanni Porolero. As you know, I've been, this is what I've been reading primarily this weekend. Uh, Clarice Lespector's Complete Stories. Uh, today was a Monday, so I, I volunteered at the library used bookstore, and this is what I read. And this is what I primarily have been reading throughout Saturday and Sunday, Friday. Reading this. 
I, I looked at this, The Hour of the Star by Clarice. This is her last uh, published work. She died, uh, I think, in her early 50s. She died of cancer, December the 9th, 1977. She was 56 years old. And this is the last thing that was published. And so... Uh, so I'm reading. I'm reading her early. I'm, the stories I've been reading are the ones that she wrote in her late, well, I mean, her early twenties, I think. Uh, and all the, these are her complete stories that cover her whole entire life, from her twenties up until she died in 1977. I did finish last night. I mean, uh, I stayed up late and I finished Richard Ford's. Uh, it's like a novella. Let me be frank with you. I finished this. I I thought about doing uh, a review of this. Uh, I even copied off from the internet how to do a book review or a book discussion or how to set forth a book review. You know, I've done this many times in the last three years. I've been making videos in booktube. You know, I want to do book reviews. And I just don't know. I mean, once in a while, I'll do, I'll share my reflections on a novel or my thoughts or things I think are, I just don't like or do like. But I, you know, I would like to do in-depth reviews, but it's kind of like, it's a lot of work. <laughs> I mean, it's like going back to college when I had to do book reviews. I mean, when I was in seminary, I had to do book reviews and do these long research papers and analysis of books. And I don't know if I want to do that in booktube. I don't want to make it work. I mean, I want to do it that spontaneously, you know, be real. But some people, I think, get disappointed in coming to my booktube channel because they expect reviews, they expect analysis. They expect me to share, you know, what I thought about the book, the plot, the character, what I liked, what I didn't like, uh, you know, all kinds of things. And I don't really do that. And uh, I thought about doing that in the year 2019, but then I thought, well, if I did that, it'd have to, I'd have to make videos once a week and spend the six days of the week writing down a book review and doing analysis and going through all the steps of analysis and plot and character development and was it, it's the irony or the, the was it first person or third person narrative or you know what was it historical fiction what is it you know was it postmodern modernism was it realism so I don't know what to do so I'm still struggling with that. Uh, I also want to finish Moon Glow by Michael Chabon this month, January 2019. And I have, I did read some of this last night. And I only got, you know, I could read it and probably in one day finish this. And uh, it's okay. I mean, there are flaws in it. I mean, of course, who am I to say? I mean... Michael Chabon is considered one of America's, you know, well-known writers, even though I don't see him talked about in booktube uh, that often. So I'm going to finish that. And when I finish, when I finish this, I finish this, I'm going to start reading these novels that I've had on my to-read pile for a couple months. I want to read The Mars Room by Rachel Kishner. And I want to read White Tears by Harari Kushul. I want to read these in the month of January 2019 and February 2019. I really want to read these. I've read other novels by Harry Kushul, and I've shown those in past videos. I read his novel... What did I read? His last novel was, let me see if it's listed here, uh, Gods Without Men, which I read last year. So I'm going to read these 
these two what now that I finished Richard Ford and Michael Shaban and then when I put these down on the lower level then I'll start reading these and the month of January 2019 and February and I will continue you can I can read this in one day this star the hour of the star and I can read these stories throughout the year 2019 and I am still reading with great pleasure and delight the William H. Gass Reader. I read this over the weekend uh, and I'm really enjoying this. I've read almost 327 pages. It has around 895 uh, by 890 pages. One thing about I'm coming to the end of the story section and coming to where he talks about writers or artists which I don't really find that much interesting. I'm more interested in the stories or excerpts from his novels. But, uh, so I don't know how much I'll read of that. I'm more interested. I might read one of his novels, like C. I might get back into his novel, The Tunnel. At the book nook today, I brought home, I, I collect the novels of Ward Just. This is Rodin's Dubit, uh, Dubit Dabatant, 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 and I got this from my Jess Ward collection, and I picked up a non-fiction book, Aphorite's Island, the European Discovery of Tahiti, by Anne Solomon, Sol Solomon, so I got these today. Now, there's another thing about book too, people are saying about book hauls, that if you show a book, you should not show a book unless you've read it, unless you've, and you're going to give a review of it. Well, I've made known over the last three years that I'm a book collector. Uh, so if I show a book, doesn't mean I'm going to read it. I just want it because it's for my collection, and I'm interested in the subject. So, you know, I don't even like the work book haul. I mean, I've been buying books for 45 years, 49 years. I mean, were all those book hauls? No, they were just me who is a bookworm going out buying books. So, um, so I don't, I don't know why I get you get hassled by some people getting book hauls. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. I went out and got a book. I added another book to our library. You know, you have a library. If you have a library. Does it stay static? It never grows? It never expands? No, you're always adding to your library. You're either adding fiction or nonfiction, or maybe you're into American Indians, or maybe you're into the Second World War, or maybe you're into American history, or you're into Reformed theology, New Testament studies, commentaries, you know. So you're always adding. Is that book halls? No, you're just you're just buying books because that's what you do because you're a book lover so uh, what I've been reading in the morning is the same thing I've been showing the Father, Son, and the Spirit the Trinity in John's Gospel by Andreas J. Kostenberger I got one of these I told you there's a new one coming out I'm going to get it in the mail this week on the exaltation the ascension of Christ I, I'll show that in a future video. And I'm still reading the Gospel of John, chapters 1 through 12, in the Reformation Commentary series. And I'm still reading the Bible, which is the infallible and errant Word of God. Uh, it is the Word of God. And uh, I don't like it when people say it's just the Word of Man. It is the Word of Man, but God inspired, God breathed. I have this Bible, so. And uh, I did read uh, Sunday the New York Book Review. There is a, a big review of the new uh, Edward Gorey uh, biography, Born to be Postmissibus. And this is by, uh, the review is by Robert G Goblin. Well, I got this last year. This he wrote this. It's like a, his life, an avid reader, a life by Robert 
Gottlieb. I didn't get far into it. I read 79 pages, but I got it back out. Maybe I'll read some of more of it this this week. Maybe not. Maybe I'll get bored and just put it back down in the lower level. But now I'm kind of curious. I think he came out with another book, too, last year. But um, he's written a lot of books. Uh, so, yeah. Also, I got this at the library today. This is a thing that comes in public libraries, the book page. Discover your new, your next great book. We get those every month at the library. Maybe your library gets these. They're kind of interesting. My wife likes these, and so I, I always bring them home, look through them. Sometimes you find about a book you didn't know about. So that's my book world. As far as my diary, I ended today on page page 20 <laughs> of January 2019. 20 pages. We're into the new year, in the year 2019. I did get a CD in the mail today. I got the new uh, Funeral Mist CD. This is Death Metal. This is Hex Hexatomb. It's really a uh, really extreme death metal. Really enjoy this when I'm sitting in the morning, or not in the morning, but probably late afternoon or afternoon. Especially on a day like today, it was dark, it was dreary, it was raining. Carol was gone having lunch with a friend downtown, and I sat in the living room with my uh, headphones on. Uh, I have a CD player here. My CD player listening to it and just kind of uh, spaced out there for a while. So I hope you're all having a, had a good weekend. They have a good new week. Once again, thank you for the new subscribers. Sorry if I disappoint you. I mean, I'm trying to be articulate and be informative. And my main one of my main reasons why I started BookTube is just to share books that I know about, Christian books, uh, books that uh, I find interesting, books like this book, Aphrodite Island, The European Discovery of Tahiti. I've always been interested in Tahiti, the South Pacific Islands. And uh, now, War Just, I collect him, but I have never read him. I have like four or five of his novels. I don't know how I got into collecting him. His novels all sound kind of interesting. and Maybe that would be one of my goals in the year 2019 is read one of his novels. But I'm really enjoying William H. Gass, the reader. Really enjoying reading Clarice Lispector's Collected Stories. And yeah, so I'll sign off. I'll download this. And it's now 1046 at night here in Southwest Michigan on a Monday night. This is Monday Reads. And until next time, bye.